Here's our chinch bugs. Okay, chinch bugs, we see the juveniles up here, kind of these uh, pinkish reddish little critters with the white band. Um, maybe, um, I mean very tiny, less than an eighth of an inch. I mean little ones are sixteenth of an inch, but you can see them with your, with your naked eye. The adults down here, um, they go through different uh, uh, stages and then they, they get to be these, these little bigger, maybe less than a quarter of an inch in size. Chinch bugs like that hot, dry environment. They have that piercing, sucking mouth part and so they're going to suck the life right out of the plant. You typically see these show up along the, the street or along the driveways um, or in little island areas um, in, in commercial landscapes you know, where maybe they don't have real good irrigation or that whole island is, is wrapped up with, with asphalt and so it's a hotter you know, and drier environment. The chinch bugs come along and, and cause problems. The chinch bug has become increasingly problematic in Florida over the last decade for, very, for several reasons. One is that as many of our pesticides were removed from the market, most of our old insecticides had harmful effects to you and I, and so those pesticide classes of chemistry have been taken off the market. And it has largely left us with the chemistry, the pyrethroid family. And they're synthetic pyrethroids, uh, and, and you would be with, familiar with, with products like Talstar, or Delta Guard, or Permethrin, um, those types of products. And, and so in the lawn care industry, they have a, a number of products on the market that have different names, but the mode of action of that chemistry is the same. They, they, they go after the same spot in the insect, and so these insects have developed resistance to those pyrethroids. And so what has happened in the industry, because the industry can't get control of these things, they go treat again, and they treat again, and they treat again. And all they've done is they, over time, they've wiped out the weaker populations of the bugs, leaving the, 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 the stronger insects to mate with the stronger insects. And now you have, in some places, completely resistant chinch bugs to the pyrethroid chemistry. Old chemistry they've kind of pulled off the shelf. There's a product called Dilox that we have um, that you can use. It's a very it's very expensive, very short residual, but it can disrupt a life cycle enough that maybe you can kind of get out ahead of these things. Um, but they can be problematic. This is in Texas, chinch bug, chinch bug. That's Floritam in Texas, unaffected um, as well. Look at that, Floritam, dead, almost dead, Floritam. In Texas. So the insect in Texas, they read the Florida Lawn Handbook, the old one. <laughs> <laughs>